Hey diabetics and diabetic enthusiasts, today's video is going to be all about low blood sugar because it's a pretty big deal with diabetics. And I personally have kind of like a love-hate relationship with low blood sugar because on the one hand you feel like really terrible and on the other you get to eat like a lot of food. So it's kind of like a win-lose type of deal. So real quick to start off, I'm going to explain what low blood sugar is. So basically it's when your blood sugar is low. Was that clear enough? Or like, think of it like you don't have enough sugar in your blood. Okay, but seriously, um, the real thing is like you have either not enough carbs, like you didn't eat enough, or you gave too much insulin, or maybe you did an activity that used up a lot of your glucose, like exercising or like using your brain a lot. And um, a bunch of things cause lower high blood sugar. I made a whole video about it if you want to see. I will put the link somewhere and you can click that if you want. So now that we know what low blood sugar is, how does it feel? Now for me personally, it feels kind of bad. <laughs> of course it depends on like how low I am, but the worst feeling is basically you just feel like shaky and weak and sometimes it feels like all the blood in my like appendages is like draining out like that sounds really creepy but like I feel like like just like dead like weak because I don't have that glucose that I need to function so it makes it also really hard to think and so when I was younger my mom would know I was low because she'd ask me a question and I'd be like I don't know I don't know I don't know so it's really really hard to think I've also found that sometimes when I'm low I breathe a little bit more heavily like it's more of an effort to breathe and I also just really want to sit down, you know, just relax because I don't have that energy that I normally would have. Sometimes I just want to sit down and not do anything, but other times I get like loopy, like I get crazy and I'm just like making all these stupid jokes and just like being all goofy and yeah, it tends to mean that I'm low, but not always, sometimes I'm just loopy. Probably the biggest thing I feel when I'm low though is like, just an indescribable feeling like I just feel low like that's the only way I can describe it like it's just like this feeling in like the pit of my stomach just all over feeling where it's just like I feel low like this is just that's what it is you know so that's always a huge indicator that I am low because I have that distinct feeling and if you're diabetic hopefully you know what I'm talking about it's just like you just feel it you know and if you're not diabetic then I guess you wouldn't know. And then the huge, huge, huge symptom that I'm low is that I am starving. Like, I will eat all of the things. I am, like, going to eat everything in the whole wide world, and I'm never going to stop, and it doesn't matter if it has carbs or not, I am just hungry. Now, obviously, it does actually matter if it has carbs, but I just mean I want to eat everything. So I literally get ravenous. I will just open things and eat them and drink and I'll have enough carbs to like get my blood sugar back in range but I'll still be hungry so sometimes I'll eat like no carb stuff or just really low carb stuff or I might accidentally eat too much carbs because I'm just starving and the other night I was actually low. I was like 54 or something and I realized I was just chowing down on the gummy bears and so I just turned on my webcam real quick. And so here's actual footage of an actual low in my natural habitat. Go. So as you saw, there was a little bit of the loopiness, just biting gummy bears' heads off and just chowing down. <laughs> I was pretty hungry at that point. But I think it's pretty cool that your body knows what it needs. Like when you're low, you need those carbs, and your body's like, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, and it knows that it needs that thing. And like when I'm high, I um, need water to like flush out all of the bad stuff in there. 
and my body knows it, and I'll get really thirsty when I'm high. And so I think that's really cool how your body just, like, knows exactly what it needs, and it tells you, like, you're hungry because it knows you need carbs. The only bad thing about eating everything in sight is that you can have a rebound, which is when you go from being really low to eating a bunch of stuff and going high, and that is not good. So you do have to kind of control your, like, ravenous attitude.